Most content creators spend the longest time on two things, editing the videos and writing scripts. And if you're anything like me, are you tired of spending hours writing scripts for your YouTube videos? Hear me out for a second. What if I told you there's a way to automate it? Well, welcome to the first episode of Content Automation, where I'm trying to make content creation easier for everyone. So I'm Roman from Text Cortex. And in this video, what I really want to break down is how to automate YouTube scripts. And I'll do this in four very easy steps that anyone can follow. So don't worry if you haven't had too much experience in writing scripts. And I actually want to do this all with an AI assistant called Zeno. Before we even get to using him, we want to define how we want him to write. We want to set goals, look at target audiences, all of that. And then with that, we're going to create a persona. And this is where we upload all the information to him so he learns from it. From there, we'll use this persona to prompt him to, to write scripts. And then the last step will just be putting it all together to create a video. And if you stay tuned to the end, you might just revolutionize the way you create content by creating the perfect AI employee. So let's dive straight into step one. We want to define our content. Yeah, so as you can see here, I've done a lot of this already, but again, just take the same format, switch it out for exactly what you want to switch it out with. So I'm trying to teach the AI as much as I can to get in the mindset of how I should write. So the first thing I'm going with is an introduction. So I like tech, so I'm going to do a tech influencer and his name's going to be Jack Oracle. He's going to be the emblem of tech precision on YouTube and the channel vision is to offer bite-sized, comprehensive tech news updates. The objective of it is to be the leading source of concise and reliable news on YouTube. And the core values he might have is accuracy, a clarity, and integrity. Yeah, and the last thing's audience. So this one's really important because you've got to understand who you're presenting to. So for me, it'd be tech enthusiasts seeking the latest news would probably be my primary. But just going back over this, so let's say you're a Minecraft YouTuber, you're probably going to change the primary audience. It's probably going to be uh, younger people into gaming, things like that. And then maybe he's going to value entertainment more. Maybe his objective is going to be more so to have humor and stuff like that. So again, just copy and paste this and change out what you want to change out. There's no real right and wrong answer, just what works best for you. So next, we're actually going to look at the structure of the writing. So I actually want to teach Zeno to structure it in a way that's optimized for the YouTube Shorts algorithm. And the reason why I'm going with a short form content, just because it's easier for me to show you again, all you'd have to do is change the durations, maybe add more body. For this example, I feel like, but for this, I'd say most short form content kind of follows this similar for a format. So it's going to have a hook, it's going to have an intro, a body, and then a call to action. So uh, the hook here, uh, the hook is initial part of the video. It grabs the viewer's intention, entices them to watch the, uh, the entire video. It should be compelling and intriguing. Um, here are some examples of, of great hooks. You won't believe this. Uh, X. And then here are some examples of some great hooks. So it just sort of knows what to do. And I actually added some examples underneath. But again, if you're a Minecraft YouTuber or you're um, a, a makeup influencer, I'd recommend actually looking at the videos and looking at what hooks did well, which ones didn't, and then kind of add more examples to suit your niche. But these are, are pretty broad. Uh, next, you'd kind of dive into the intro. So it could kind of be a brief overview or instruction of what the video is going to be about, who you are, anything like that. And then the next part would be the, uh, the the main body. This would be the main content of the video. This is where we sort of dive into the, the details of the topic. Um, and for me, it should be informative, engaging, and relevant to the hook and intro. Then lastly, we're going we're gonna to go with a call to action. And uh, this is the part of the video at the end when it encourages viewers to take an action. So like, comment, anything. And again, I've given examples, but make sure it's very relevant to your niche. So to actually get the best result from this, I'm going to create two sample scripts, as you can see here, to teach it even more so how I want an output to look like. So yes, if you've got past scripts, that's perfect. You can actually train it how to speak like you which I think is the really cool thing about it. But just for, for anyone that's never wrote a script, just don't worry. Uh, but for anyone that hasn't wrote a script, don't worry. We can ask Zeno to help us. 
So yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to copy and paste all this information. We are going to take it to Xenochat on textcortex.com. I'm going to write out to Xenochat, you are a YouTube Brit writer. Again, sorry for my spelling. Uh, write me a script based on the information below. So as you can see, you can have your scripts here for your first examples. You can just copy and paste this and then bring it into a new example. But actually what I did is I did a few earlier. And when you do it for the first time, you don't have to actually take what it gives you straight away. So I actually got some output and I changed the hook a bit. I changed the output just to be more personalized to what I actually want. So I, I highly recommend doing that. And what I made sure is it follows the exact same format that we're teaching it to write from that document I showed you before. So now we've kind of got everything we need to actually go ahead and make our persona. So we're on stage two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to customization. I'm going to go to text cortex again. I'm going to go to customizations. I'm going to go to individual personas. As you can see, I've been testing that out a bit. I'm going to create your individual persona. Okay, so this is going to be Jack Oracle. YouTube. Maker. Okay, so what, so what I'm actually going to do, so this is the Persona background. This is where we're kind of teaching it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the video script stuff we did here. Copy and paste it. We go here. That's all there. In the description, it's just going to be a YouTube script writer. Uh, where do you want to use this persona? So I'm just going to go down to YouTube and social media, just so it sort of knows what we're doing it for. Uh, continue. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to go back to my example script. I'm going to copy and paste the first one. Paste it here. I'm going to add more examples. And again, you can add up to three. Uh, but I'm going to use two for, uh, for now. Copy and paste this. Now, all that's done, we just get our results. And as you can see here, what's really smart about the platform is it kind of tells you what it's learned from the information you put in. So yeah, informative, factual, perfect. Uh, reading ease, easy. Sentence length, medium, voice active. And if you actually ever want to edit something, you just go back here and you edit the persona. And again, all the links for this, all the links for all the prompts I've used, everything, I'm going to put that in the bio. And if you ever want me to go more in depth of any aspect of personas, I'm more than happy to. So just comment, let me know exactly what you want me to go through, and I'll make a video on it. So now you're on step three. So what we're actually going to do from step three is now we've got a persona. We go to Xenochat. You see down here where it says persona. I'm going to go down to uh, Jack Oracle, the YouTube script maker. And now this is where the magic happens. I'm going to say you are a YouTube script. It's a, uh, write me a script about an interesting fact. Make sure it is interesting to Jack Oracle audience. Cool. Now we just press enter.
Yeah, and as you can see here, it comes out with a script. You won't believe how much power your brain has until you learn these incredible facts. I'm not going to go over the, the whole thing, but as you can see, now, to take it one step further as well, let's say you've got a brand deal and you want to kind of keep it at the same thing, you just copy and paste it. Um, and what I can do is enable search as well so I can access the internet. So I go internet, enable search. So you are a YouTube script write, a writer, write me a script about a brand deal I have with the Xbox One. See, so from this one setup, now we can make thousands of scripts. And again, I'll go back to, to the fact that you choose out the ones you like, you retrain the persona, and it gets better and better over time. So now we're going to go to step four, which is the final thing. We're going to put it together. So I'm actually going to copy and paste this one because I prefer it. Put it here. Go, go to my AI editor. Copy it all in. In, if you want to be faceless on your YouTube channel, again, we can just use the text-to-speech uh, option here. You won't believe how much power your brain has until you learn these... True. So you can either use that or say yourself, and this is how the start of the final version might look. And I'm going to record on my phone to show you don't need a fancy setup to start with the YouTube scripts. So... You won't believe how much power your brain has until you learn these incredible facts. Your brain is made up over 100 billion neurons. And that's more than the number of stars in the Milky Way. Thank you. I've been Roman from Text Cortex, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.